Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Kog'Maw mid lane versus Kiana, and we're going to be playing AP Kog'Maw, something that uh, I thought was not the best, but I played a game yesterday of him, and it actually felt very good late game with this build that I'm going to be doing, where you go two lost chapter items, where you go for the Archangels, of course, which is pretty standard, and we also are going to be going for Malignants. So... With building both of those, it's going to give you a pretty insane amount of AP. And then you kind of build standard Kogma afterwards with... Uh, we're probably going to be building a Rylize to make ourselves tanky. But yeah, AP Kogma. Uh, pretty fun. I do think that he's not the best right now. I do think that it would be sick if Riot did a little bit of buffing on him. But... Uh, the build that I tried definitely felt good, even after being super far behind. I was really, really far behind, and we managed to basically come back, which was sick. So I'm just going to auto-attack her under turret with my W. Because your uh, W is so long range, um, it allows you to auto-attack under tower and then run out of tower aggro over and over again pretty easily, which is super nice. I actually win this, don't I? Yeah. I have barrier. Sorry, Kiana. My wave is pretty good. I'll just leave it. So she has 5 CS. She tried to do an all-in. I stayed near my minions because I noticed I would also reach level 3, right? Uh, so be don't immediately panic and just run, but be like, I'm going to reach 3-2. And the reason why I know that I'm going to win is because Kogma W is very good when it's up, even when you're not even AD Kogma. If you're going AP Kogma, you should still be auto attacking all the time with this ability. It does not matter if you have, uh, you know, if, if you have a Doran's ring instead of a Doran's blade. It is so powerful. Uh, it allows you to win. Because every single auto attack deals insane amount of damage. Oh my god, I'm messing all these up. Okay. I'll try harder now. I messed that up somehow. I didn't think my one auto attack would kill it. That was kind of strange. Oh well, we got most of them. I mean, look at our CS lead already versus this Kiana. It's pretty insane. her if it lands that's sick so she'll go for the oh you messed it up you didn't get it so she missed cannon there that's really good i'm gonna miss cannon okay good i didn't <laughs> phew that was close your uh q range is quite far so you can just chuck that out whenever. It does pretty decent damage, and it only costs 40 mana, so you don't really have mana issues from spamming. So you can just continue going around minions to throw that at her. My wave is pretty good spot here, huh? Another comet hit. She is already so low. I wish I was level 6 on this wave. That would be tremendous, but... Oh, well. Another good hit on her. Another good hit on her. Oh, if I landed both of those, that could have been so good. You can chase me if you want. You can't kill me. I'm in such a good position. The thing is that even with jungle assistance, there's not much that Fiddlesticks can do without being six, you know? Let's see if she stays. I'm trying to deny the cannon here. So I just pushed her away because she's scared that I'm going to kill her. And she missed some minions from it. That's really good. We're trying to deny the EXP.
We don't always need to like overcommit for a kill. We can just annoy her. Dang, she really is not playing that game, huh? That guy's gonna get executed so no kill happens, so that was really good by Janna. I thought she was gonna... She's playing so confident and not backstepping and being scared, so well played to her. Landing Kog'Ma R in high elo is one of the reasons why Kog'Ma sucks. Like, compare... He, he will never be meta. You can win with him, and you can be good with him and stuff. But the reason why his Kog'Maw R is takes way too long to drop. Uh, so it's a pretty unreliable damage. That being said, it's great poke, right? It's wonderful poke. So just at landing a, a few of them before a team fight could be influential for your team. So it's not that you have to do it, but normally the best mid lane champions never have a unreliable thing. Xerath, Lux. There's a reason why these picks are never inside of mid lane high elo. The only champions that uh, are are normally ones that don't have any reliance on skill shots whatsoever, or the, the skill shots are so easy to land, it's not really a skill shot. I'm talking about pro play, by the way, when I say meta. Oh my goodness, bro. Uh, I should probably let that guy die. Really? Janna, I hope that kill goes to you. Yeah, I don't really care about that. How did Milio live? Did he have another shield? He might have. Milio gets two shields, and I feel like my R was on point, so I looked away because... There's no reason to continue looking. So, the first item we're going for is going to be the Malignance, and that is going to make it so... Uh, we have less CDR on our R, which honestly... I thought was kind of dumb. That sounds really stupid to have less CD on an ability that already has a low CD. But I realized that it's honestly not that bad because what happens is your RCD becomes so short to the point that when you build Rylize, you can actually chain it so quickly to the point that the uh, Rylize just is permanently propped. Beforehand, my whole entire concept was why would you ever want CDR on Kogma? It's stupid. And I still think that if Malign Malignance didn't have CDR on it, I, I wouldn't care. But at least it doesn't feel as worthless as it was beforehand when I thought about the item, where I'm like, nah, it's just dumb. Because I'm going to have a lot of CDR this game. Uh, okay. So she's dead. I had a feeling she might commit there. I mean, my 1 HP brand, not 1 HP, but like half HP brand walked near her and half HP is literally the amount of HP. Can I still win this? You die one for one, but I gave you a big shutdown, huh? I wanted to see if I can beat him when he doesn't get the initial fear off because I'm fighting him while seeing him. So I, I kind of limit tested there. It definitely wasn't worth because I was worth a bigger shutdown. It was closer than I expected, honestly. Maybe if I finished my item, I would have been able to do it beforehand, but oh well. So first item completed, second item will probably be the Archangel Staff, most likely. Otherwise, we could totally go Rylize instead. There's the Malignance on the ground. Ooh, we one-shot the wave? Really? So, Fiddlestick's ultimate should be down. 
Okay, they just did Void Grubs. I really wish that I could have landed an R on her because uh, without Barrier, I think it is quite easy to kill me. Or at least set me up to die to a, uh, like, Fiddlesticks. So I'm kind of spooked, you know. Fiddlesticks are over a wall. I just instantly die. No counterplay, basically. Hey, another hit. Okay, Fiddlesticks is over here. We know that he is because we just saw the Scuttle Crab get taken. So we can be super confident knowing that he's definitely not on bottom side. Just checking the brush because it gives vision. Oh my god. I think I still die, but I might be able to assist still. So we got Kiana Ultimate, Fiddlesticks Flash, and Kiana Flash, both. And it was a one for two? Yeah, it was one for two. So they committed everything. I was right about Fiddlesticks definitely committing so many resources. I was hovering bot side the whole time. So as you can see, the gank kind of failed at the beginning and that allowed that to happen. If they killed me immediately, my team would have never killed any of them. This, this smallest amount of like decision making and uh, where you are on your lane can win you like team fights, right? If I was standing here, I would have died immediately, and there's literally zero chance my team would have killed anybody. So it would have been just me dying for nothing. And those are the hard decisions to also, like, learn, you know? Like, after that happens, right, and I got ganked and died, a lot of people would be like, oh my god, my jungler sucks, Fiddlesticks is camping me, and there's nothing I can do. And you wouldn't even know that there actually was something you can do. You know? Level 11 is a gigantic spike for Kog'Maw, by the way. Hmm. I flash towards my teammate in hopes that... You flash for me too? That's three flashes for me. Like, my god, man. Okay, so we got one for two and another flash. I mean, I use my flash as well, but these guys are like... Really trying to... Set me behind or something, bro. Oh, nice cancel. Nice turret take. Now, Landry's, I don't recommend. I really don't like that item. Uh... It used to be Koron Cogmob when it used to be an AP item. I mean, sorry, what? Uh, it used to be a Lost Chapter item, but it's not. And, like, I imagine versus a very tanky team comp, it could be all right. But I highly think that finishing Archangel's Rallies is more important. But yeah, isn't it crazy how much damage I can do to Kiana just to get her? It's nuts. I just need to land my initial ability, and then boom. She's gone. My initial ability is my E. And the E is the initial part because you want to slow them. So that you can land your R easier. I'm waiting for my R to time out here. Kiana went bot side, but then didn't actually gank. I 
I'm sorry, I missed every single shot. She might be dead now. Nope. Still not dead. And still not dead. And Fiddle Six is probably here. I'm not gonna continue. Fiddle Six is probably around the corner. I'm not gonna deal with that. The reason why she lived is because of heal. Did they use summoner heal? Yeah, he did. So summoner heal and Melio heal and Melio shields. Like, okay, whatever, dude. If you guys really want her to survive that badly, be my guest. I'm not gonna overextend because Fiddlesticks is probably behind that guy. Checking the brush. Checking this brush. There was a Fiddlesticks in that brush that entire time. See, if I if I overcommitted for Jinx there, I would have died. 100%. This guy's literally just camping. I'm just gonna E him back away immediately. Just in case he tries to channel his ultimate on me, I'll be far enough away that I should be able to survive. He can just waste his time doing nothing. That's okay with me. I don't really have much of a purchase here. I'm just gonna wait. <clears throat> Even if I sell my Dorans, it only brings me up to 1.2k, not 1.3, so... You can see our CS lead is super good. Super good. Are that and I missed. Fiddle six was on that side, huh? It's time to play the range game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my E. Oh, never mind. Nice jukes. Almost. Introducing why Kog'Maw is difficult to play, and also why you build Rylice. Because I did land an R on her. I did. But it wasn't enough. Um, I should have not spammed as much. What you should do is put the R behind her. And that forces her to sidestep. Am I getting TP'd on? Wow, I literally was CC'd for so long there. Well played, Milio, dude. That was annoying. At least I finished my item. That barrier did nothing, too. Oof. Anyways, what I wanted to do uh, to play it, like, better, you would put R behind the Jinx, which forces her to barely sidestep towards you or in a path that isn't straight, and you want to make it so you can get near them to land your other abilities if they're hard juking your R. Because uh, when somebody's focused, especially inside of high elo, you theoretically should never land a single R ever. Um, if they have hands. And Jinx has hands. So she should never get hit, which is also why Rylize is really good. So if you make one hand mistake, now you're screwed. Um, so yeah. What are you doing? Finish it? Why are you not... Why did he, uh, why was he doing that? Was that on purpose for some reason? So she's dead. I have to walk away. That guy's dead. This guy flashed on me. Now he has no flash. Now he used his E, so his E is down. And that guy's dead too. Not bad. Got a double kill. Level 16 is the big power spike for Kog'Maw. 16 will increase our R range again. And that's when you are literally an artillery barrage. And what we can do... Oh my god, dude. That was actually kind of scary. We didn't really think about the Jinx, did we? Well, you did. And you sidestepped it, so good on you. He's the only person that should sidestep it anyways, because if I sidestep it, it wouldn't do anything because I'm not on the dragon. Jinx Rocket can't hit dragon. It can only hit champions, so. Anyways, um, yeah, we can, like, barrage the people who don't have dashes very easily. People who do have dashes can get away 
But Jinx and Milio, if I land my ultimate on them with Rylai's with level 16, you can sometimes run people down the entire lane and kill them with just R and nothing else. And that's the fun part. So you're hitting them from a billion miles away. And uh, they just die, you know? I'm spooked going side lane, guys. I really don't want to go side lane. I do want to go side lane because I want the EXP. I just don't want to die. Wow, he really went the other way. Dang it, man. Where is Fiddlesticks, too? It's kind of spooky. Fiddlesticks is who we really care about. If we find him, the whole entire game becomes so much easier. I'm going to definitely die. Guys, we didn't find the fiddlesticks. The fiddlesticks just presses R and we lose. That's how it works. I don't know why we didn't want to set up vision beforehand and we just rushed it. That was so dumb. And by we, I just mean my team does it and I'm just long for the ride because the people in the driver's seat is everybody starting it. I was a passenger seat just watching your driver just crash your car into a telephone pole. And I can't do anything about it. Unfortunate, guys. The good news is that we scale really well. And we have a lot of dragons and stuff like that. But, man, I really wish that uh, we didn't do such a weird play. Very strange. Fiddlesticks wasn't even fed. That's the worst part. He wasn't even fed when he did that. He just did it <laughs> with with only one and a half items. He just 1v9'd. Big yikes. Now this guy that's coming top is super fed. Oh well. Just continue going towards our build path. Auto. I honestly deal not that bad damage with auto attacks on my W because we do have a okay amount of AP at this point. The Fiddlesticks ult? Oh, and you made a mistake? And I bet, you know how they made a mistake, I bet? We had vision. Yeah, as you can see, I can fight this Renekton. I'm not even, like, super fed either. That guy has three items, and... <laughs> Yo, he thought he was window shopping. That's why you should never window shop. That's why window shopping is bad. It can get you killed. Window shopping is when you think that you're basing and you're out, and then you open up your shop, so then you don't see what's going on. And then it's really hard to react to whatever is going on because if you have shop open, you can't press your ability keys. Or I think you can't. Yeah, you can. If I take this, I'll be so much stronger. Unfortunately, Fiddle Six is building banshees. So that's been got. Finish that. Uh, next item. We can go with the Lyandries now. So a super late one. Because they do have some tanky people on their team. HP wise I guess. You could always build. No never mind. You don't want to build Roofmaker. That's stupid. Shadow Flame is also pretty good by the way. Fiddle Six Hole. Dang, they couldn't kill him because they didn't have uh, ultis yet. Garen didn't have his. I'm trying to reach level 6. I think we get it. 16, sorry. If I reach 16 here, we can start having a lot of fun. I'm not going to take that, though. 
Not gonna take my jungler's farm. Uh, going for her is stupid. I should only go for Milio. Oh. Really? Please, man! Leave me alone, fiddlesticks! Holy dude! The Milio speed up is so annoying. Uh, Jinx Ghost as well. It's about landing that initial hit. We're not landing it, so... We'll probably go forward, right? Yeah, I don't really care. I'm just, like, running around. Alright, one landed, two landed, now she flashed, continued the barrage. Nice. Brand also has Rylai, so he helps me out as well. There's no more that we can do for a bit, huh? Should we just base? We have no dragon. I mean, uh, what? We have no uh, wave. Yeah, just do the bot thing. Yeah, but look at my um range on my R. Isn't that crazy? I can hit from like not even on my screen. <laughs> the fun part of Kogma. So close to finishing my item, too. So because we have two mana items, also our mana pool is much bigger than it would normally be with just uh, one. So that feels pretty nice. I have my item in base. Should I just go buy it? I think I should. It looks like we're not really... Uh, I'm not going to lose too much tempo because we're not really uh, doing anything. Like, Garen's in a really good position. Uh, but I'm trying to uh, be super strong for when the next objective comes up. And now we can start, hopefully, looking for Poke and not getting caught by Fiddlesticks. Who I think burned Flash on me last fight, so... Uh, he doesn't have it, and it's going to be a similar timer as mine. Yeah, imagine if they didn't have Milio, by the way. If if you're playing versus, like, uh, Enchanter... Ooh, I'm walking away from this. I'm not going to be a part of this fight. Like, obviously, Fiddlesticks is in the area. This is stupid to attempt, you know? Is that the real fiddle? They're walking towards the real fiddle. Yeah, okay. Fiddle six dies here to my R. See you later, bro. You dodged it not enough. <laughs> Garen ult, why, dude? Why did you Garen ult? So yeah, that was a uh, EP Cog mod. The game is the game over. Inhibs respawning. Ooh, but dude. Okay. Uh, I mean, I don't deal damage to it. Once again, she has dashes. I don't think I want to deal with trying to catch someone who has dashes. Like, I, I can clearly poke her and get her really low. But they're also inside their base, so I don't have that much time to uh, kill her. So I'd rather just back away. Next item could be a Void Staff. Next item could be uh, a Shadow Flame for flat magic pens really good. You would think Horizon Focus is really good. Uh, you already have plenty of CDR, so you don't need more, and 10% bonus damage is probably not as good as this just executing people when they're low. Because what, what the, uh, Shadow Flame is gonna do is that you already deal bonus damage when people are below 40%, 
this is when it's 35%. So sometimes when they're at 35%, you land your W or your ultimate on them, it's going to crit and hit super freaking hard. So... I mean, it deals basically two times more than the other one because it's 20% instead of 10. We want to do Elder. We can still lose one team fight. Did you just ult? You did. Oh my god, guys, this is such a bad angle. If I can get her Banshees, it's really influential. Waiting for my mana pool again. Yep, I got Fiddlesix ultied. And I'm just gonna die. I'm so what is Janna doing? Was she just sitting mid? I killed somebody though. Also, I this is like, I'm trying to stall. And if they're gonna one man Fiddlesix ulti me, and my whole entire team is doing Elder, uh, that's probably a win for us, right? I don't really care if I die. I'm trying to get the dub. I think it's GG. There's no way Fiddlesticks can defend without ults, no? Dude, he kinda did. Kinda. All he did was press fear and it worked. Uh... Man, you guys are over committing for that turret so hard. Is Jinx gonna get excited? Oh my god, did she not crit? So Fiddlesticks just burned his flash. So now he doesn't have it. My team has Elder. So let's just, you know. Oh, Saya died? That's not good. I'm gonna have to just shoot a bunch of R's over the wall, huh? Are they immediately rushing it or can I do this blue quick? Quick, quick, quick. Man, I'm probably gonna run into Kiana as well, dude. I don't have Zhonya's or anything. Actually, they're not even on it yet, huh? I guess it doesn't really matter. Yep. No fiddlesticks. Yep. GG's. I just started chucking my R's into the brush from like a mile away. And the thing is that the only way that they probably won that fight is killing me. But how are they going to kill me without Fiddlesticks Flash anymore? Because he used it previously and Garen already just jumped in there. So. Give it to... I was... Okay, I misclicked. I was trying to give it to Garen. So yeah, that was uh, Kog'Ma. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Did most damage on my team. Um... This is the Kog'Maw build, and he is pretty fun to play, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to subscribe if you enjoy full game commentaries, or don't if you don't. So, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Game 2 of the AP Kog'Maw, except we're not playing AP Kog'Maw because this guy picked one of the biggest counter picks in the game. So, I'm actually going to not build AP, and I'm just going to immediately build AD. So, we're going to build AD Kog'Maw against Cass because otherwise I'll get destroyed and I don't like getting destroyed. Why wow, I don't like the auto attack animation on my champ. Decent amount of harass there. Wow, I really don't like this skin. I should never use this skin again. The auto attack feels awful. But it was my mistake. So we're probably going to build something like Bork. And that's going to allow us to just auto attack him to death, you know? The reason why Cog sucks against Kassadin will be he'll jump on me. And he'll actually outpace my damage and I can't poke. Because he has no cooldown dash. So it's difficult to land my abilities and hold his speed completely 
out DPSing at the same time. And as you can see, I can just kind of just crush him with auto attacks. He'll probably just base here, huh? Maybe I should stick around. He only could buy a potion. Really good poke onto him. Again, just W hit. Nocturne's bot lane. Got a crazy flank going for himself. Just doing some auto attacking. Got one of his potions so far. Dude, they bur both burned flash, both of them. I think Eve is playing way too scared, by the way. Like, why, why are you playing so scared here? She is not feeling confident at all with me. For some reason, I don't really know why, but I'll take a kill plus my wave. Like, look at this. This is this is amazing for me. So I went level two boots because I just feel like it will be good. Having the attack speed is nice for my W on hit damage, but also uh, because I don't have my sums anymore, I'm hoping that the boots will allow me to uh, escape a potential gank. I hope. <laughs> yeah, like AP Cogmon could never do that. That being said, if I was playing versus another pick, maybe I'd be okay with uh, not having to do that. Dude, this guy's so diveable. If anybody came mid, I kind of want to just dive him on my own. perfect dive that's so good for us man <laughs> we just crushed that guy see you later dude look at that wave he just missed so much from that i'm trying to really gain a massive advantage on this guy i want him to completely suffer especially for picking cast in too you should suffer you're ruining my fun. I don't even like playing AD Cogma. You're literally making me not have fun. I'm all, I'm all about the AP Cog. I'm not enjoying this, and if I'm not enjoying it, I'm gonna make you enjoy it even less. Man, you guys really didn't respect that, huh? What? Kastin was bought? Kastin alive? What? Really? He was really bot side there? That's crazy, guys. The guy that I solo killed twice? What? Wow. This guy dies. Now we just do the dragon. Free kill for us. 
Now we just do the dragon. Okay, well, you know, if you guys want that kill really badly, then go ahead, I guess. I wonder if this guy is flash. I'm killable at this uh, HP. Just trying to shove this out. Just like that. This base over here, where it seems safer. Um, he did the flash play to try to one-shot me, but it failed. Janna's dead, probably, unless she uh, has a way of running. Oh, wait, Eve's there. Wait, what? Really? Nice. Well played, dude. And Janna's dead. All right, cool. Ghost is super powerful at chasing people down. Wave is good. Cast and burn flash. We're in a really good position. You want to fight me? I have Janna with me. Is there a way that I actually lose? You didn't chase me when I'm that low? Really? Ezreal killed the other guy. They're so tilted. All right, so the uh, Nocturne doesn't have ult because he recently used it, so I think I'm safe, too. I can't believe the guy didn't try to ulti me. I tried to predict his ultimate and dodge it, but he didn't even go for it. Man, I'm not going to be able to finish my item, huh? This is sad. If I get that cannon, I actually get it. Nice. Blade of the Rune King spike at 10 minutes when this guy is down like double my farm. <laughs> he is so screwed. We're going to be hitting really hard now. Next item will probably be a Gwinsu's or something. Also, I'm level 9, which is sick. So my uh, W is max level. Although, what's probably going to happen is that I'm going to die. And how I'm going to die is I'll get Nocturne ultied, and then I can't escape his fear. And I don't deal enough damage to get them beforehand. Just doing a couple poke hits. I'm not gonna um, overcommit though because of the nocturne still. So it's a nocturne bot. I'm here. Really? You dodge that? So they tried to gank. We just counter ganked it by running down. They did see us though, so they didn't have to go in. I don't know why they did. Not the best decision from them to do that. Just run back mid. Nocturne used Flash that fight, and I have Ghost now. So, maybe? And I would probably still die on Nocturne ult. I was going to say maybe I can Ghost and run, but most likely I'll also get slowed by Kassadin, so I probably couldn't Ghost. 
If we really want to be annoying, what we can do is uh, just freeze it. Okay. What? Kassen's going top? What? I mean, he actually is kind of killing Garen, huh? He almost died. He's very lucky that Eve was there. Nocturne's probably a bot right now. I can maybe rotate down and help. These guys are uh, pretty far up. They are so desperate to try to make a comeback, but it's just failing every single time. So I'll just start this, help out with it. Oh my god, you even have something to make me deal more damage already? Oh no, that was just your shield. Oh wait, no, it's this. Yeah, you empower my auto, sick. Really? I don't think we can chase this guy very easily. Well, if he goes in like that because he was trying to one-shot you, then yeah, we can. He almost did kill you, though. That was kind of ballsy to do. Worked out in the end, though. There's Nocturne. Me and Nocturne are same item. So you would think that I would just dominate because I'm really fed, but I'm not really sure if I do. Because I'm not really that fed. We both have one item, and his item is uh, makes him tanky, no? No, it's just attack speed, actually. Um. <laughs> uh... I guess he didn't really realize how badly he was taking damage there, huh? Man, I hate this. This Alistar is so damn annoying with his invulnerability, basically, because he just takes 70% less damage or whatever. Is Nocturne Ultimate coming now? Why is there a ward in the middle of the lane, but it doesn't show? Like, on the map, it shows a little ward, and I don't see anything. Buy this and this. Fight Sivir. Garen? Free kill for you, bro. Got her flash. Nobody can contest me ever. Nice escape. Whenever somebody steps up, I just immediately start running at them and I just win. Nocturne have ult. Oh. Ult. 
I'm trying to gain distance! Oh my god, we lost vision, dude! Whatever, I mean, the game is already kind of over for them. They'll probably just FF pretty soon. I think that the next item should probably be Terminus, because it'll make me tanky and deal more. That would be my next thing, but we'll probably win regardless, like, before I can even finish it. Because I already deal plenty. As you can see, I kill people very quickly, but I want to make it so now it's just way more difficult for them to kill me. And Terminus would be good against everybody instead of Witsend only being good against really the, uh... I mean, Witsend does give, I guess, tenacity, but it only gives MR, though. While this gives me armor and MR, so... That would be, like, good... Just tankiness. So that would be my next item, most likely. Probably I would eventually go Runins. Runin sounds pretty nice as well, because, uh... I think team fights will start becoming more grouped. Yeah, they have GG. So yeah, that was uh, game two of Cassadin. I mean, game two of Kogma, and uh, me swapping the build because I wanted to make sure that I just went because AP Cog would struggle so hard against uh, a Cassadin, but AD Cog completely dominates it. So GG, give it a to cow so thanks for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next commentary farewell goodbye